athletes are often sidelined from the games due to common growth plate injuries. However, the latest techniques used at PT Solutions are keeping athletes in the game. First, we must understand how these injuries occur. I would like for you to imagine a strong cable that attaches to a weak plaster wall. With repeated tugging on this cable, small cracks will develop along the weak plaster wall. In our young athletes that are involved in playing sports, their strong muscles tug on these growth plates. When young athletes are involved in playing sports, this can cause pain, irritation, inflammation, and microscopic cracks along the growth plates. There are three common locations that these injuries occur at. The first two occur at the knee. Osgood Slaughter's is typically affects young athletes between the ages of 10 to 16 and is located approximately two inches below the kneecap. The second injury is also at the knee and is known as Cindy Larson Johansson and typically affects young athletes between the ages of 6 to 13. SLJ is located at the base of the kneecap. The third common location is along the heel and is known as Sievers. Sievers is typically seen in young athletes between the ages of 9 to 14. In order to keep young athletes involved in playing sports, there is a large emphasis on modifying workouts and getting involved with PT Solutions for rehabilitation. During physical therapy at PT Solutions, Athletes can expect manual therapy, modalities, dry needling, and sport-specific exercises. In addition to physical therapy, athletes should be icing and wearing protective knee pads and heel cuffs. Research also shows that these injuries do not involve the joint and do not put athletes at risk for long-term damage. If you would like further information, please visit our website or stop by one of our many area locations for a free athletic screen.